<laughs> Welcome back to Call for Help. Whether you have one hard drive or 100 hard drives, partitioning is something every computer user should know about. You may not want to do it, but you need to know about it so you can make the decision. We decided to bring in Roger Chang to help us out and present us with the Beginner's Guide to Hard Drive Partitioning. Yes. Now, what is partitioning? Partitioning is simply taking a one physical hard drive and divvying it out into virtual or, or separate partitions. Sometimes they call them logical hard logical drives. Logical hard drives. Because they're not physical. They're, they're imaginary. Imagine a space in an office. That's a hard drive. Then when you stick the cubicles up, that's when you start partitioning out stuff so everyone has their own little space. Now, why would you do that? Well, let's bring in... The call for help players. All there. right, it's time. This is something so I wanted to do for a long time. This way. Bring back the call for help. First, we Let's have Windows start. 2000. Let's start right here. Now, wait a minute. Before we do this, this is, we have to explain, okay. this is the hard drive. This is our hard drive. This is the hard drive. We've, we've created a virtual hard drive. So it's one, this would be an unpartitioned hard drive. Yes, this is an One space. So you'd install Windows 2000, played by the lovely Fawn Lou, and you can Yay. come on in. And she's the operating system. All right, and she no. can occupy this completely, right? Fine. And no then problem. Let's say we want to play a game like Covert Ops. Well, Morgan's so got to be our gamer here, so she's Covert Ops. She gets in the hard drive. And, you know, sometimes this game gets a little flat, but... You know, <laughs> now, let's say we want to get some serious work done. Then we go to our Adobe Premiere game. Some guy. applications get installed. We've got Call to Power. Bring them all in. Bring everything in. Okay, so we've got... Now, now the problem is, what if we want to uninstall Windows here? We, hmm. we can't really, and she, they're all kind of muddled together, they're, they're, right? They're, they're actually kind of attached. Yeah. And, and if something happens to Fawn here, well, I'm afraid something's going to happen to Morgan and, and our uh, call screener. And, 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 and the, the worst intern case, we just got. Our new intern, we don't want to lose because, no. you know. So then the worst case is your data is also in there. Yeah. And it's all mixed up together, which can cause fragmentation issues, right? The fragmentation, you have data loss issues, which, you know, you don't want to lose your Covert data. Covert ops could accidentally overwrite your pictures of your Hawaii vacation. That wouldn't be good. Unless you like shooting Hawaii. <laughs> now, like, for, for example, I want to install another operating system, so Dan, swing around. Oh, now this is the now worst we're case. we're going to put Linux. Granted, it's all Oh, Linux. no, here comes Red Hat. Oh, no, Dan no. in a Red this, Hat, Red Hat. Yes. No, he's just going to overcome. No, you know, you know, he's going to try to get, you know, Windows get doesn't get along. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're going to have a fight in our boxes. Stop, 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 stop. Time out, time out. Ding, ding, ding. Everybody out. Everybody out of the so, pool. Does it work? No, it doesn't, it doesn't work. work. It becomes cluttered, it data problems, and you certainly it's, can't do it's multiple operations. It's like a Jerry Springer systems. episode. Nothing's good. So we're gonna, what are we going to do? We're going to divide this we're big gonna, hard drive We're going to take this hard drive and we're going to partition it so it's more than just one partition, but rather, in this case, four, if you could actually. So we're quartering it, actually. We're quartering it. Okay. And that will turn it into spaces that the different parts of the computer Ex can occupy. Exactly. So now we can have fun. One partition just One for part the operating system? So we just... Come on in there, Fawn. Watch your hat. This is 2000. <laughs> she has her own partition. She has her own partition. Now we can... What else would you want to put in its own partition? We would actually put, for example, Red, uh, Red Hat. Red Hat would get its own partition. Now, Come here. Now we could get him in now because they're in their own partitions. They're not going to... Whoops. And they're they not, can't fight because they, they can't can, even see each other. No, they don't see. They're like mimes. They're like mimes. <laughs> they're, not, they're on their own world. Now, I also like to keep data in its own partition. So let's no, just keep this clear that's, for pictures, for media, that, that's for That's for documents. anything you exactly want to do. Word documents, we want to do image. We put all our data that we want to archive at some later date. We put in its own partition so nothing happens. And all and the applications we can, get the rest of the kids in. can hang out here. So, Sometimes, I, if you, you, know, you can make as many partitions as you want, up to, like I think, 32 partitions. So you could have games have their you, own you partition. Could, but you, you know, you got to be careful because there's a there's a limit to the efficiency you gain, and if you actually partition too much, you actually might start losing that efficiency. Right. Now, Red Hat, of course, is fighting the world. But he can't. But he can't. Can. <laughs> the other <laughs> nice thing about this is you can boot from one of the, you could say, you could tell a computer, boot to this partition today, boot to that partition tomorrow, so you can have different yeah, operations. they're both going to be happy. They can still touch hands with uh, the game if need be. Well, actually, not this game, but probably the, uh, the Premiere file. And your data you is certainly <laughs> visible they from... Can, uh, and, you know, Fawn can touch hands with everyone else, but they're still in there. So if something happens to, to Dan and he no longer works, he's out. <laughs> We take it out, but everything's still the same. Everything still works. Just this part portion, I can just rework and reconstitute Dan in a newer, more, perhaps better form. Thank you to the Call for Helps players, ladies and gentlemen. A hey. great job. Well done. Now you understand how partitions work. The idea is we take one big hard drive and we use software to divide it up into smaller hard drives for different things. That the computer Operating sees systems. as, would see as a, a separate uh, Hard drive. So now let's take a look at actually how you do it on a computer.
Now, I'm using a program called Partition Magic for PowerQuest. And the reason why I like it is because it lets you with the, what they call non-destructive partitioning. Yeah, we should point out that normally when you partition, you do it at, when you're first installing the hard drive using FDisk or the Windows installer, and it destroys all the data. You yeah, it, have empty disks. It's, it's, it was meant for people with brand new hard drives or right. brand new PC, and you you would partition it without having to worry about data that did not exist. But if you're watching this show and saying, well, shoot, I forgot to do that when I first installed the system, you don't have to re rearrange everything, erase your whole hard drive no, and reinstall. It's, it's very simple. As you can see here, we have two hard drives. Two installed. This and I... Two well, physical. That is important. Two, two physical. Disk 1 and Disk 2 are actual physical hard drives. These, yes, these are two physical hard drives within the machine itself. Mm -hmm. And I've taken the first hard drive and actually separated those into two partitions. There's one, a Linux partition and a Windows. And, and a Windows partition. Mm -hmm. Now, oftentimes when I, on the second drive, because I, all my PCs have second hard drives, I actually create, let me resize. Oh, it's gonna look this is how you actually change the partition? This is how you part, uh, change the partition. I right click on it and I basically have to resize first because I already occupied all the space, right. so I need to, to so make it. shrink it. So I'm gonna shrink it and I'm gonna shrink it as much, oh, let's shrink it as far as the other. Let's shrink it up to here. Okay. So now you've created unallocated space. space here. Now, what I can do with this space, and what I often do, is actually create a, believe it or not, I create a swap file. Now, why would you create, now, swap file normally exists in the same directory as uh, the C drive, the Windows As drive. Windows. Why would you put it on a separate uh, I put it on a separate partition, especially because I can cram it toward the front of the drive, is because the way hard drives work, the data that's actually on the outside of a circle tends to spin faster than right. one at the middle. So you're putting this in front so it'll be faster. It'll be faster, and it's. I generally find that it's just a little more efficient than having the drive access at the same time for not only program launching, but right. also uh, a swap file access. And I find it just runs a little smoother. This, some step, some this is actually a very useful technique. I know on, on Macintosh is about a 20% improvement in performance, and I think comparable in Windows because you don't have fragmentation. As you say, you're not having the head having to move all over the hard on, drive. That's a really good idea. Separate hard drive at the front. I create one for data. In this yeah. case, we actually call it backup. But this is actually all our data. These are yeah. MP3s. These are images. These right. are Word documents. Right. So if anything happens to Windows, I still have my data. I can go back and reinstall Windows without having to worry. Oh, my gosh, I lost all my work. I'm not going to have a job tomorrow morning. <laughs> I can go back. Hey, boss, I just need to reinstall Windows. I'll right. get all my, my data. My data still there. My data still there. I can send it to you this afternoon. And also, actually, believe it or not, I create a separate one for downloads because that way I can run a, a separate uh, antivirus scan on that entire partition whenever I download it, just in case I'm getting a little What a good it. idea, and that kind of separates it. Now remember, programs can read other partitions, so yes. it's not completely separate. It's, it's, not, it's not like, you know, land, land of the lost, you're never going to reach right. these people again. You can still see them, you can deal with them, they're your neighbors. Right. But, you know, something happens in your household, it's not going to affect the neighbor's right. household. There are a lot of rules about what kinds of drives there are and so forth. That's more advanced. The nice thing about a program like Partition Magic, it does it all for you. you Plus, don't it know. comes with the, I didn't go through it, but it has a wizard. So if you're kind of new to it, it will actually right. kind of walk you through the steps and not, give you a yes or no. Not a free program. Not a free program. It has a demo version that will let you do all this. It won't let you change anything, but you can kind you can of try it out. You can try it out without actually changing anything. Uh, but I actually highly recommend it for anyone who really wants to consider um, uh, actually, now if we if we apply we, these changes, we <laughs> we're going to just mess up that hard drive, so, so we won't do it. But that's we should point out it's not as fast as what we just did. No, it's you're it's, setting it up, and then as it's soon as I set up, it reboots, and then it will start. And it's probably right. best to have dinner, <laughs> watch a movie, and come back. It's going to take a while when it's finished. How much is uh, uh, Partition Magic? I believe it's like seventy nine bucks. I believe sixty seventy bucks okay. around there. Okay. Um, again, there's a demo version. There are other free ones that I've seen, but none of them work as well as Partition Magic. I've tried them all. I can't recommend any of them. Partition Magic is the one. There are some other companies that make commercial versions that work too. Like and uh, the beauty is, of course, you can not, not only do Windows, you can also do Linux. And I think they put in a Unix or a, a Mac OS X yeah, partition yeah. Really? in the latest, oh, that's latest version. Neat. Oh, that's neat. Roger, you've explained this all beautifully. I want to thank you. I want to thank the Call for Help players for wearing silly hats on their heads. Software boxes. Software boxes. And I want to thank you for watching. If you want to know more about hard drive partitioning, I hope this has helped. I hope it makes it a little bit clearer. Visit our website. The address is techtv.com slash call for help.